Alberto's. It's not Alberto's. It's Los Alizanes or something like that. Oh, yes. I ate there one time, and I ordered carne asada nachos. And I'm not joking you, I was sitting at a table that was 10 feet from the bathroom, and I almost didn't make it. Because the number one ingredient was pain. So, anyway, that has absolutely nothing to do with what we're going to talk about today, and that is not in the Bible. I just, for some reason, felt compelled to talk about bowel movements. Let's pray and get, get us focused. God, we thank you so much for your son, Jesus. We thank you, God, that because of who Jesus is, God, that we can experience life and just have an incredible, abundant life, as your word says. God, I thank you that uh, every person that's in this room today, God, was created by you for a purpose, on purpose, God. And, uh, and I thank you that today, as we get into your word, we start this new series, God, that you would speak to us, you would challenge us, you would encourage us, and we would walk out of here, God, with a little bit more hope. Lord, we love you and we praise you. In your son's precious name. And everyone said? Amen. Have you ever been so ticked off that you thought you were going to lose it? I mean, like, so incredibly frustrated that, that, that you could almost feel your blood boiling. And a lot of times when that happens to me, it, it would happen, like, like out of nowhere. Like, like sometimes it's something that, that you, you were just minding your own business, and guys, maybe this happened to you, you're minding your own business, you're walking through the hallway, and someone knocks, knocks into you, and, like, you lose everything, and they don't even care. Like, they don't even acknowledge that they just ran into you, and, it, and, and you, you want to just, like, turn around and sock them. So you ever felt like that? You ever felt like And one of your friends, maybe one of your friends talks you down and says, Hey man, hey man, let it go. <laughs> Who's got a let it go friend? No one has a let it go. You've got to have a let it go friend. You've got to have one of those friends that when you're about to lose it, they go, Hey, 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 just, just let it go. Right? Just, just like that, right? Hey, 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 let it go, man. <laughs> ladies, ladies, maybe this has happened to you. Maybe uh, you're just minding your own business, you're doing home, you're kind of going backward from, from homework, and you got your Instagram and your Facebook, and you're kind of doing all 20 things at one time, and you just, you know, because so here we go. And so, and so, you're just minding your own business, and you just happen to glance at Facebook, and you notice that, uh, that every time your boyfriend puts something on there, this one girl responds right away. You ever notice that? Or she like, she put like, she put like flirty things about about your guy. Yeah, yes, he's not happening, right? Not not letting that. Happen. Or you notice like whenever he says anything at all, she's the first one to like it. Or if he posts a picture, she's always the first. And you're like, who is Gina twenty eight four two? Because she is dead. Right? <laughs> you start to get a little upset. Maybe uh, maybe maybe it goes a little further. Maybe you were with this person, you really, you thought this was the person for you, and you cared about them deeply, and they broke up with you, and it was bad enough that they broke up uh, over text message, <laughs> which is shit, like, is the epitome of class, right? But then they, but then they got with someone else, like, right away, and you're like, what's going on? See, some of us, as I'm even talking right now, you're starting to get a little frustrated. <laughs> you need to let it go, friend, <laughs> right? Act wrong. Be everyone's let it, let it go friend. Just tell them all. Just tell everyone to let it go. See that? Hey, just let it go. It's one thing to say let it go. I, I would always say this for you. Just always tell them, hey, just let it go. Just, just let it go. It's no big. Just let it go. But you don't want to let it go sometimes. Am I right? Now, we're going to do this new series. We're going to be talking about letting it go. We're talking all about forgiveness. And I think most of us, if we really thought about it, would say, yeah, when it comes down to it, at least in theory, forgiveness is probably the best option, right? It's better than to just hold on to stuff. It's better to just let it go and to forgive people. And in theory, that sounds great. But you know what's a lot easier to do? Revenge. <laughs> you ever, ever had that happen? My friend... Um, this is terrible. I've never told this story. My friend, uh, when I was in eighth grade, uh, my friend, first of all, I was a, a, I was never interested in girls. I, I mean, I like, yeah, they're pretty or whatever, but I didn't really think about them until uh, this girl liked me. And then that's all I could think about was this girl. 
and we went on a Washington, D.C. trip, because that's where you want to take a bunch of eighth graders is to Washington, D.C., because they really care about culture and history, and like they really want to see the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. That's like the number one desire of an eighth grader is to really just reflect on our nation's heritage. Why don't they take you when you're older and actually care about things? Anyway, <laughs> they could have taken us to Irwindale for all who cared. All I knew is I was going and my parents were in there and there was this girl and 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 and, and something was gonna happen. I didn't even know what was gonna happen. I was saying I didn't even know what, what happened, but something was gonna happen. This was gonna, this was going down, right? So 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 I thought I was like making you know I thought I was like making my game plan for the for this girl. And then my friend who did not come on the trip First of all, he had money. You have to have money to do stuff like this, okay? Yeah, now, granted, I went to Washington, D.C., but, like, I still am paying that off to, like, my aunt, you know? Uh, no, like, like you, 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 you have to have money to be able to do this. For some reason, I don't know how he did this, but we're getting on the bus at, like, the Washington Monument or whatever, and we're getting on the bus, and I, like, sat by her, and I was like, yeah, this is it, man. I want to ask this girl to be my girl. It's going to be awesome, right? And no joke, out of nowhere, like in a freaking movie, like like one of those like like Freddie Prince Jr.'s in it or something, you know, like those old school like like romantic comedies. Some guy stands on the bus. Now this wasn't him, that would be crazy. Stands on the bus, he's like, Yeah, I got a delivery here. Bust out the biggest thing of roses I've ever seen to this day, and walks down the aisle to the girl that I'm sitting by, and I'm about to like set something up, right? And he hands the flowers to her, and there's a card on it, and she opens the card, and it's from my best friend. And I couldn't even hit him, because I was like 3,000 miles away from him. And it ruined the rest of the trip. I don't know what happened. I don't know. We stopped at Science. I don't even know. We did stop at a pizza place, and I ate a lot of pizza. But that's all I remember. It totally ruined it for me. And we were, and here's the thing, guys, guys can get over stuff, I think, a lot easier sometimes, because guys really only need one friend, you like punch him, and it's like, okay, we're cool, okay, cool. <laughs> but my friend, I was still mad at him, man, I couldn't let it go, I was so mad, and I was so angry, and one day, we were rollerblading, because that's what you did back then. <laughs> we were seriously rollerblading. How <laughs> embarrassing. I was grinding. Did you know? Just because gravity does not allow. Okay. We're rollerblading, and he was like, and I was getting ticked because now all of a sudden I noticed that this guy was like better at everything than me. He's better at getting girls. He's better at music. He's better at rollerblading. And one day we were riding in Glendora off Juanita, right? And, and we were rollerblading, and he's like skating backwards, and I was hating him for it, because I couldn't skate backwards, you know? I could barely stay on the things. I could barely get the things to move, right? I had to go downhill. If it was uphill, I'd be like, yeah, that's manic, and like, <gasps> had to get that little thing out, like, <clears throat> you know? It's horrible! My friend is rollerblading backwards, and he's like, oh, look at me! You know, this is it looks a lot cooler than this, probably. But he's doing it! And I was just like, oh, man. And I noticed that, um, uh, there was a pickup truck has like construction equipment in the back and it had like a big two by four sticking out the back that went over the sidewalk and I noticed he was like roller skating backwards and he was headed right for it and I was like it's cool man hey it's cool how you're skating backwards why don't you keep doing that <laughs> he, he got it man he needed stitches it was bad um, Felt so bad, Bruce. I'm sorry, man. I'm so sorry I did that to you. No, I'm doing it. Wasn't Bruce. Everyone's like, "Oh my gosh, <laughs> those are the best stories." And that little boy was me. <laughs> Why do I tell that? Because naturally, in the natural, we want to. Uh, by the way, we were friends very much longer after he found that out. Um, you naturally, you, you don't want to let things go. You, you'd rather get revenge. Revenge sounds much funner. I don't know about you, but I almost feel like if I forgive somebody who's wronged me, it's almost like I'm letting them get away with something. You ever felt like that? You're like, well, if I forgive them, then they don't feel any, any anything from it. You know, they don't have to deal with it. If, if I forgive them, if I, if I just let it go, well, then they're not going to learn their lesson. 
But one of the things you got to realize is that you can start in an effort to want to get justice by not forgiving someone. They don't feel that. You feel it. By not forgiving someone, a lot of times you, you ever be so mad at someone, and maybe this is like your, maybe it's a relative, maybe it's your stepdad, or maybe it's your, one of your brothers or sisters, and you get so mad, and you hold on to it, and you hang on to that for weeks or months, or some people even years, and it looks like they just move on with their life. And something that originally was intended to hurt that person by not forgiving them, or by, oh, I'm going to teach them, we feel the consequences even more. Maybe your stepmom got in an argument with you, and you thought, man, I'm going to teach her, and so you started, like, compromising and getting yourself in trouble just to kind of punish her. And so what happens is you start to get into situations where now all of a sudden you're, you're not doing well in school, and you're losing friends, and all this stuff is happening as a consequence of the choices you made to try to hurt someone else, but really you're feeling it more than any, any of them are. The truth is, is that the issue of forgiveness is something that all of us wrestle with at one point or another. The truth of, of forgiveness, of not just hanging on to stuff, of, of really letting it go, of, of being able to, to, to not hold on to the past and hold on to the pain and hold on to the hurt, is something that 